Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Apparently, I'm on my way to a goddamn Harry Potter limerick. Do it. I'm You're... going to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Hmm. I still remember when uh, you showed me Harry Potter for the first time, and uh, you were showing me Diagon Alley, and I was like, "Oh, diagonally!" And you were like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> 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 yeah. That was, that was great. I, I, I don't know how I didn't put that together. Not only did I not put that together, mm -hmm. but then later somebody did it again to me and I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> like, I forgot that I had had oh that. Oh my god, like yeah. twice as incredulous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, before we get into this lumpy pumpkin business, can I read? One of my favorite, uh, comments we've ever gotten on a video. Yes, please. Although um, I thought we put it in at the beginning, but maybe not. Oh, did we? I don't know, it's up to Matt and Ryan. Oh, it was- I was like off mic. Um... So, it was on the most recent Power Hour, which right now was escaping the escape room. Yes, that was fun. And, uh... <laughs> it is... I thought Aaron was fat this whole time. Boy slim thick. Skinny legend got me quaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still vaguely unclear <laughs> on what he's trying to get across there. Yeah, well, I think it was a girl. Oh, even better. Boy, slim thick. Anyway. <laughs> boy, <laughs> Oh, I get it. Got it. Yeah. I, boy, as in you're the boy. I thought she was like, boy, slim thick. <laughs> I was like, what's slim thick? Oh, yeah, like me. Like, yeah. that boy, slim thick. Anyway. S skinny what got me quaking? Skinny legend. Skinny legend. Got me quaking. <laughs> <laughs> you have that gullible look that says you might take an old man rambling seriously? So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I do. I shouldn't even call it a monster, it's a demon I tell you, but no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Except, except my ex-wife. Well, huh, you wanna know how come I'm telling the tale of nobody who's seen it alive, is that it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, I saw it, but I was able to escape by, uh, my pants. My, <laughs> my pa- something happened with my pants. I was able to escape by the pee of my pa- seed of my I, pants. I was saved by my pee- cat- cat-like <laughs> pee flexes, I tell ya. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream, oh, but I no. lived long enough to pee myself and run. <laughs> Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. <laughs> None of that's important. What's important is I saw it. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked right by that tree in the middle of the night, and... I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up! It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. Oh. And that's when I... <laughs> covered in pee! <laughs> 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 went to investigate <laughs> the monster that went into the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It's almost like it wasn't a demon. I brushed the urine out of my eyes. <laughs> it was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen, <laughs> other than that pee. <laughs> if you're smart, you'll see her clear the cemetery in the middle of the night. Oh. You know, the part of the sentence I highlighted so you can do it. Yeah. And they say to this day it still smells like old man pee. Do you? Oh, that is. And like someone else in the place is like, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's my pee. <laughs> anyway, Whee! that demon's locked away in the storage shed or whatever. Go get him. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And if you could bring back an old sample of my pee, I'd be very grateful. Uh. You've never seen an old man happier than when he has his pee. <laughs> when he has his pee. <laughs> an old man and his pee, a tale as old as time. <laughs> You've read Ernest Hemingway's Old Man and the Pee. <laughs> it was Old Man and the Sea, Aaron, did you? Did yeah, you? yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, I was concentrating really hard on going through that ring. And I thought I crushed it with that. And I nah, just, you did. Just you, you definitely wanted did. A, wanted a little confirmation. A dive! Okay. Uh, it's to the Skyloft. How do we wait till nighttime? Can what? we sleep in an inn or something? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Re he said the middle of the night. Yeah, well the monster comes out at the middle of the night. I, on the other hand, come out in the middle of the day. Hit the gravestone nearest the tree. Yeah, I think it's gotta be during the middle of the night. No, I don't know about that. Is that Hebrew? Looks like Hebrew on the... Mm. 
Might have to wait for the middle of the mm, night. There's not a day-night cycle, though. Really? Where's the storage shed? Oh, this... Hmm... That was the gravestone closest to the tree, right? Yes. And it still is. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Oh god. Mm. Why don't you look oh. in that walkthrough you have right in front of you? Oh, dang it, fine. Using up my laptop battery. You want some power? The you, want some, you want some juice? <laughs> no, it's okay. Except that juice that the Pomeranian was drinking. Matt Ryan, put it up. Aww. Aww, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's lost all hope. Um, let's see. Uh... Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna get all these fucking sweet rupees, dude. If you haven't been in Skyloft at nighttime yet, there are a few no noticeable changes. What do you mean, Skyloft at nighttime? Uh, jump- When has that ever been a thing? Walk into any of the nearby houses in Skyloft and jump on one of the beds. Take a nap until it's nighttime and then head back outside. Okay. Any of the houses? Any of the houses. You, you know, like any normal village. Where you can just waltz in and Robert Downey Jr. your way into someone's bed. <laughs> Is that a thing that happened? No, yeah, remember he was on drugs and he, like, he broke into someone's house thinking it was his own and fell asleep in a kid's bed? Wow. That kid must have been confused. This was pre-Iron Man. Otherwise, that kid would have been psyched. Yeah. Dude, Tony Stark! Tony Stark, Tony Stark sleeping in my bed! Instead, they like, were like, Oh, the oh, guy from the, Kiss Kiss yeah, Bang Bang! Gonna say, oh, the guy from Soap Dish! <laughs> 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 Soap dish! I know! It's so obscure. Uh, okay. Hey! Nighttime! Yeah, it's all blue now. This is pretty. Okay. Pretty lame. <laughs> if you- if you haven't been in Skyloft at night time yet, there are a few notable- notable changes. One, the town now has green choo-choo, keys, and enemy remlets running around. The town bazaar is closed. And with that in mind, let's run over to the cemetery. Uh-huh. Okay, great. I'm in and the storage. You, did it. you already- you did it. You already did the thing. I'm gonna- I'm on my way to get some gratitude points. Oh, gratitude crystals, Aaron. By the way, amazing name for a band. Gratitude crystals? The gratitude crystals. We have the gratitude crystals! One, two, three, four! <laughs> 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 uh. Oh no, it's kooky -ole. She sounds pretty kooky to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? It's the demon, Betro! Oh, it's him. Oh, he sure is a demon. Yep, it's a monster. What? Red? Red? Uh, 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 I'm a little girl named Kukio. <laughs> wow, he's like actually a demon. Damn. Do I have to fight him? Or? I don't know. Uh, that'd, that'd do, yeah, fight him. That'd be pretty cool. Fucking fight oh, him! Sweet. That's kind of cool. Let's do it! Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, wait, can you give it a He's terrifying like... demon voice saying s s sad shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I know a... how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the scream as loud as you can game. Isn't that a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. <laughs> My name is Petro, <laughs> and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below scale. <laughs> but please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a m m m m monster, <coughs> yeah, right? I wouldn't dream of terrorizing <laughs> the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Until we played the scream game. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. Well, get ready to be killed by pitchforks and torches. <laughs> but as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. Delicious. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them uh, and extend my claw of friendship, they run and scream as though they've been seen a walking nightmare. All oh, right, silly me. I've oh got my head God. Of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. 
It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as the gratitude crystal. The gratitude crystals I use to eat. When I eat them, I shit out fortitude crystals. <laughs> I use the fortitude, fortitude crystals as currency in the lumpy pumpkin. The lumpy <laughs> pumpkin gives me soup that I use to exchange for various goods and deeds in the black market. It also makes me gassy, thereby giving me the chance to create more fortitude crystals. <laughs> and so the cycle begins anew. <laughs> <laughs> gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh, goodness. Nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart, except when I was scared the whole time. Wouldn't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? I'm sure. I'm gonna get some for taking back the girl you fucking stole. <laughs> Truly? You'll help me? Uh, I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. They could also be merely lying about here in sk <sighs> <laughs> here in Skyloft or elsewhere <laughs> among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours would be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Boy, it just occurred to me as he was saying that, like, Zelda's one of those games where you really don't have any choice to take, like, the evil path. Yeah. You know, you are just a good guy through and through. Yeah, you're a hero. Yeah. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. Anyway, can I eat you? <laughs> Kukiel, come with me. <laughs> Kukiel, come with me. You thought I'd be a man you saved me one time ago for a sketch with Kamaros once. I look like the little Eskimo from, what's that show? Clutch Cargo? <laughs> Sometimes when people only see my silhouette, they're like, oh, a giant candle. <laughs> Doesn't she look like the racist Eskimo from Clutch Cargo? I don't, I don't know what Clutch Cargo is. Did you know the car the old cartoon where they like superimpose the real mouths on the drawings? Oh. And she looks like the the famous racist Eskimo clip where he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, Crutch Cargo." Like it's like it's that. I've never. And she looks just like him. I've never. I'll seen I'll have that. to show you that clip. Please do. Please do. Anyway, it said it was dangerous to go alone at night, so I'll just take this. And I'll just hang out here for a while until my mom will come up in the morning. Um. All right, I yeah, don't, cool. I don't know if that's gonna fly with your mother. I'll just go back to your mom and tell her, her that I found you with a demon and I left you there. All right. Okay, so be it. <laughs> yeah, I told her it was dangerous to go out at night. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> we'll wait till morning. <laughs> oh my god. Don't come here again. <laughs> All right, well, he's got a creepy little shack on the bottom side of Skyloft. That's cool. That's Super cool. Super duper. Cool neato. Oh, well. Whoops. Okay. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. I know! You don't have to fucking tell me every time I fall. What exactly the fuck is going on with you? Oh my god, it's got a little miner's helmet on. <laughs> I love it. What is it illuminating? The sky. But there's nothing in the sky to illuminate. The air. Like birds? Other birds? Birds. Well, the people it's trying to catch. It's trying to- oh. I guess that's true. Yeah. There you go. Do they have like people radar? They're like- they just hear- ah, They're like- da -da -da -da, People! Oh! Oh, jeez! <laughs> I've got to break free. Give me those gratitude crystals, baby. Alright, what now? Should and I go like, to her mom? And she's like, thank you so much! And you're like, I'm not looking for words. And I don't need- <laughs> I don't need platitude crystals. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I guess just wait till the morning. Really? Uh, well, yeah, or go back into someone's house. Well, I'm going to Kukiel's house. Yeah. Just being like, hey, mom, so hey. here's the thing, right? So I found your daughter. She's around there, but she doesn't want to come home until morning. She likes the demon. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, mother. Oh. You found Kukiel! Well, I guess it's good to hear she's at least with a friendly and responsible adult, but I just can't wait to see her. Jeez, okay. Is it- where's my fucking crystals? <laughs> where's my fucking crystal? Well- no, you just gotta sleep. <laughs> and then, in the morning, you'll give her her daughter back. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep in your bed. Yep, you can watch my grundle while I sleep in your bed. Well, I'm very tired now. Okay. <laughs> oh, Spoonples. 
Kukula is safely back at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude other I, than with crystals. I, yeah, I know how. <laughs> Can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. <gasps> What's this? <laughs> Growing out of my heart. <laughs> Five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. Well, that I do agree with. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's nice. Woof. There's 80 gratitude crystals in the game. Really? So, do you want to do side quest number two or go to the. Volcano now. I mean, we could do side quest number two. Yeah, I think I think you had more fun doing the side quest than the actual temple. Well, yeah, because it's just a fetch quest like any other fucking game. I don't have to like fiddle with motion controls and all right, talk to talk look to, around a room for a crystal I got a hit that I can't to, find because talk the to camera Orange sucks. Cape Man. Sorry, it's okay. Orange Cape Man with hands on hips. <gasps> oh, and I don't gotta fucking <gasps> those hips flip a skulltola over and. Leap on him and, and do that a thousand times and then shoot a slow-moving bug out of my arm and, <laughs> and then precisely hit like five different wires hanging down that are next time on Game Grumps. Next time on Game Grumps. Goodbye. Hey, can you show me that thing? What's that? Oh, the Eskimo. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Crutch Cargo. <laughs>